Strawberry season has arrived. For many, that means it's time to head to Miaoli's famous strawberry fields. But if you're in Taipei, you need not stray so far away. Nehu District's Bai Shihu has more than 20 strawberry fields where you can enjoy the fruit in every conceivable way. One cafe in the area offers seasonal strawberry-based food and drinks, such as strawberry pizza and strawberry latte. Formosa News reporter Stephanie Yang went up to Nehu for a look. Miaoli is known as Taiwan's strawberry kingdom, but there are actually many strawberry farms in Neihu as well. In this restaurant in Neihu, patrons can pick their own strawberries and also try strawberry pizza and other strawberry-inspired meals. The thin pie crust is crispy and topped with small and medium-sized strawberries. There's also freshly boiled mulberry, jam, and walnuts. There's also this strawberry beef stew. Inspired by red wine stews, the owners of this restaurant created their own strawberry wine to season the sauce. Besides the sweet and savory strawberry dishes, there's also drinks like strawberry latte, perfect for the winter months. Our source of inspiration is the strawberries we plant. At the end of the season or in the off-season, you get small strawberries that people don't want to pick. They are very good quality strawberries, it's just that they are smaller. We use these small strawberries to make strawberry jam and thought up of new creative ways to eat them. We also make this pizza, which has Taiwanese mulberries and walnuts to make it more nutritious. We are always doing R&D. It is really not easy to put out salty strawberry-inspired meals. The farm has six greenhouses where patrons can come to pick strawberries. The farm is open to the public every weekend. We used to grow rice. We started to grow strawberries in 1983, and that was all we did. We let tourists come in and get some experience picking fruits. Then, in 2003, we started branching out. We thought how when parents bring their kids here, the mothers go to the fields with the children and the fathers wait outside. We thought, we could put some seats and offer coffee so that they can sit down and have a cup of coffee. From rice paddies to strawberry farm to cafe, the owners say they wanted to provide strawberry pickers with a place to take a break and rest. The garden cafe has hundreds of plants in an outdoor indoor space. There's staghorn fern, mint, rosemary, and succulents, among others. It's different from ordinary cafes or orchards. We've incorporated discarded things. For example, we have washcloths of steamers that grandma doesn't use anymore. We turned that into a lamp. Or a pot that can't be used anymore. We made it into a sign. Many of the decorations in the garden were made from upcycled materials. The space has not just become a strawberry heaven, but also a small flower expo for nature lovers to enjoy. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Wu Dong Mao in Taipei.